I gotta ask you immediately, was there cheating and dishonesty in the beginning of your relationship? Yes, there was. Um, we both, like, we kept lying. We kept, um, I'm not gonna say cheating on my part, because I know I haven't cheated on him. Yeah. Um, but there were times, like, where he would go hang out with other females and he would lie about it. Got it. Um, so I did the same thing with guys, and um, I never had sex with any of them or anything, but... So there's yeah. been distrust from the beginning of this. Yes, there has. So now that Kirby is here, your child, it makes sense why this, it doesn't make sense, but I can understand why it's been from the beginning. Right. Mm. Why doesn't he believe Kirby is your son? Um, his whole thing is the eyes, because they, he says brown eyes dominate, and that's what I've heard too, because I was hanging out so with- So it's just eye color? I think, just with him, yes. You were saying you were hanging out with someone? Yes. Did they um, have? I was hanging out with another guy at the time, um, around the time I got pregnant. Um, that's probably, too, that's, that's why too, so. Did that guy have blue eyes? Um, brown, blue, blue greenish eyes, yes. Blue greenish eyes, okay. Um, so you're saying to me earlier, you, there was no point, even when you were hanging out with this guy who had the blue eyes, that there was any cheating? No, there's not. I mean, I've never done anything with him. Never at never. all. Okay. How do you handle co-parenting challenges? Um, pretty much if I ask him to do something, he'll, he'll, he'll help me. He'll um, help you. So he's even been helping even though he has the doubts. Yeah, just, it's just here and there. I don't feel like I should have to ask you to help me with your kid. Yeah. Is the DNA issue the only problem in your relationship? No. Um, we fight constantly. We break up every day, pretty much. And how long have you been together? Um, almost three years. Three years together. Has it always been this toxic? Pretty much, yeah, but there's been times where we, we've been good. Yeah. But, they but don't last when long. you said the lying and cheating and the dis that, that distrust, that happened at the beginning, like in the first year? Mm -hmm. First six months? Yes. First six months? Yes, within the first, like, within the first few weeks, really. First few weeks, okay. He disappears for days, I, was, I heard you tell my producer. Yes. Um, he Where does, do you think he goes? Um, he says he goes to his dad's, um, but just a few weeks ago, um, when he was gone for three days, um, I sent someone back out there to go pick him up, and he wasn't there. Mm. Um, and then I actually checked on his Google history, um, and he was somewhere else in a different town for like all day that day, and he still won't tell me where he was at, or wow. his house that is. And so when you went through, checked his Google history, that means you've gone through his phone? I have. I've, I've went through his phone several times. Got it. And what have you found? Girl, don't take me out of a job, girl, okay? <laughs> um, just joking, just joking. But what do you find normally when you go into his phone? Um, I find like deleted messages from other females. Um, and I find other places, sometimes I find places that he's been, um, mm -hmm. that he lied to me about. I just, I don't want I don't, I don't want him to lie to me anymore, so. Got it. Um, and what happened at the laundromat? Um, so this was back, like, around July 4th of this year. Um, he, I got off work and I found him at the laundromat, um, with a female that was inside doing her laundry. Um, and he said he just met her. But me and him got into an argument. Um, she tried to say something to me. I just didn't want to hear it from her. And she ended up calling the police because me and him got in a fight. And um, I ended up hiding in the woods behind the laundromat mm. um, because I'm not going to jail. Um, and when the police left, he actually left with that female and was gone for two days. Wow. Um, and when he came back, I got her number out of his phone. She told me that he said that he didn't love me and that he didn't want to be with me. Yep, and that he was just with me for a place to stay. So he was taking a bath, so I went in the bathroom and I tased him. Mm. You tased him? I did. That night? That's shocking, right? <laughs> what were you feeling at that moment where you decided to tase him in the bathtub? Because you, you were electrocuting him, basically. Um, you're not going to talk about me um, like that. You're just not going to do that because I, I feel like I do a lot for you. Are you hoping that this DNA outcome will help the relationship be fixed? It's going to take more from his part. Like, he's going to actually have to not lie to me. Like, and I, I know I'm not doing my part, too, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to do my part. Mm -hmm. Be more honest. Be more present. Let me know what you're doing. Communication. That's, mm -hmm. that's the key. Got it. Well, I think it's time that we meet your boyfriend. So, everyone, please welcome Michael to the show. <laughs> how you doing, Michael? Good, you? Nice to meet you. You too. So, I want to know, how do you feel about what she said? Um... I mean, she leaves a lot out. OK, tell me out. what she leave out. I mean, well, one, the situation at the laundromat, that's not when she tased me. She tased me because one of her friends called her and was trying she said no. after the fact. No, I tased you after you got home two days from hanging out with that girl, and you were taking a bath, and I had got the number out of her phone, out of your phone, 
her number, and I messaged her. That's when I come in there and taste you. Yes, I did. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know when I taste you. So I want to know, how did it feel, because I've never been tased, how did it feel to be tased in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Electricity and water don't mix. Yeah, you know, like. I, I figured, but I didn't know, like... Okay, so I want to know, why don't you believe that Kirby is your son? Well, just, uh, there was a couple of different occasions where she was sneaking around with, with this, this dude or that dude, and then, uh, eye color is my main thing, because, like, I got three other kids, and all of them, they got dark brown eyes. In your heart, do you think he is yours? Yeah. You do? Uh, I want to, yeah. In your heart, you hope that he's yours? Yeah. And why are you hoping that he's yours? I, mean, I love him. You love him? Yeah. Okay. What's your relationship like with him now? What is your relationship like with Kirby? I mean, great, really, as long as uh, she lets me be around, you know? Oh, don't do that, because I'll, I'll let you be there. Don't do that. I quit, I quit kicking you out. I just don't want you to yell at me. Whenever I'm talking to you about a serious situation, something that's bothering me, you should want to talk to me, not yell at me and then freaking leave. Like, mm -hmm. I just, I don't want that anymore. She locks me out every day, like no. every day for like, no. yes, every day, no. every day. Mm. Mm -mm. What do you fight about? I, I mean, want to know from you, Michael. She's always, I mean, she's always th thinking I'm doing some kind of dirt, and I feel like, I feel like if, if, if she's coming at me thinking I'm doing all kind of dirt and I'm not doing dirt, then to me, that's what about the, the message? What about them. the messages you delete out of your phone from the, the, other, the other girls telling them all the time that, oh, you just want to find I delete because I know how you're going to act. You know, I ain't trying to get Why tased again. Really? Why'd, why'd you get tased? Because... Because you be tripping. <laughs> I mean, we can, we can keep getting tased every day if you want. I'm, I'm down. Mean, it ain't happening again. Have you cheated on her before? No, see, like, when we first got together, I got her to drop me off at my ex's house because uh, my ex wouldn't let me get all my stuff. And I was, she was supposed to pick me back up that evening. And uh, I, I left my phone in her car, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't have no way to call her and tell her to come back and pick me up. So she automatically assumed, I guess, that I got back with old girl. So she goes and gets rid of my stuff, you know? Is that and, true? That's like the, that's fir that's like the that's first true. week we were together. So you overreacted from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I did. Yeah, so your insecurities are what caused the that, foundation yeah. to be rocky. Mm -hmm. So what happened when y'all argue? I mean, I ain't got now. I just, I turn around and walk. She talking about me leaving. I turn around and walk out. I don't go nowhere. I, we stay in an apartment complex. You know, I go to another apartment, one of my, one of my buddy's apartments or something. But, yeah. Um, Do you know that? That's where he's going? Um, here recently, like, since he's been back from his dad's this time, he, um, he's been right there in the apartment complex. But do you feel like other times he lies about where he's going? Yeah, I want to know where you were at the other day whenever, um, you went to your dad's in three days. And I caught your, um, Google history. I told you where I went. Whose house is that in Honey Path? I don't know whose house... Has there been substance abuse issues in this relationship ever? In the past, yes. We in have. In the past. We don't do anything like that. Yeah, so it was in the past, before y'all started dating. Yes. You both had those issues. Okay, got it. Well, I think that at this point right now, you have mistrust about him, and you're hoping that this is your child, but if you find out he isn't your son, what will you do? I mean, I'm still gonna love him. I, I, st I mean, I still wanna be in his life, but uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna change a lot. Mm -hmm. Would you two break up if you find For out? Sure. For sure. For sure? For mm -hmm. sure. What are you gonna do um, if he is yours? Because I know he's yours. What are you, gonna, are, you, are, you gonna, are you gonna Are you gonna help me more with him? Are you gonna be more present in his life? I'm, not gonna ta I'm never gonna take away that you're his father. I can promise you that. If we're together or if we're not together, if we leave here and we're not together because of something, Kirby still needs you. Well, Brianna and Michael, are you ready for the outcome, the DNA outcome? I hope. Okay. Because in this envelope right here <laughs> is the confirmation if Kirby is or is not your child. Um, how are you feeling about this moment? Both of you, are you nervous? Are you, you feel pretty secure? I know. Okay. I'm going to give this to you since you have the questions to All answer. Right. I am the biological, biological father. <laughs> okay. You got, he, he, he knows now. How do you feel hearing that news? I mean, it makes me feel a lot better. Like, I don't, I, you know, I don't like having no doubt in my mind, you know? Yeah. What's going on in your head? Um, I knew, I know. You know, you knew. knew. Okay. Well, I gotta tell you this, I, um, in all sincerity, I'm so happy that you know the answers for the show, but I, I pray that um, you all break up. <laughs> and I mean that. I, and I, and I, I say I pray. Um, you both look miserable. You both look miserable. And I don't know what it is that's been holding on to this. Obviously, the trust, I, I was able to figure it out from the beginning. You had some insecurities from your past that immediately came to this relationship. And then once you 
did that to him. He then was triggered, and then he started to say, well, you know what, forget this. And it just went on a pattern, and now y'all in a spiral. But I don't care what is happening or but tasing, the things that I've been going through, it's not healthy. And the thing is, is that I'd rather you all figure out how to co-parent and be there for this beautiful child for Kirby's sake so that he can be in a healthy, in a healthy house versus y'all staying together and going at it like this. You've already shut down, Michael. I already see it. You shut down. And the more he shuts down is the more it's pissing you off. But he's shut down because he's done. He's exhausted. Right. And you're exhausted too, but you're looking for closure and you're looking for closure in a way that's not healthy. Right. I think both of y'all know in your heart of hearts, y'all shouldn't be together, right? Well, <laughs> you know it. Very have you, toxic, have very you, toxic. Very toxic. I'm gonna ask you one question. Have you ever been in a healthy relationship? I don't think so. That makes sense. Have you ever been in a healthy relationship? Oh uh, yeah. You have. There's a lot of trust issues. I'm sure the trust issues came before the men. You had trust issues in your house as well, right? Mm -hmm. Growing up, right? I did, I did. Yeah, I figured. And so all I'm saying to you is that I would suggest for you to find your way out of this relationship and take at least a year of doing self-discovery as a woman. So you're 40, you've been around, you need to figure out what's gonna be healthy for you going next, but this can't work. Yeah. Trust me and start to heal the trust issues that you have in you. Because until you heal the trust issues you have in you, all you're gonna do is continue to find men that are gonna trigger the trust in you. And you're gonna to continue to make erratic decisions that one day is gonna end up leading you in jail. Think about it, if you tased him in the bathtub and he would have died or went to cardiac arrest, you could have been charged. Yeah, um. Heal yourself from these trust issues, y'all break up and figure out how to co-parent, and I wish y'all the best of luck. Thank you. Okay. I say this a lot to the guests, and I'm like, don't have your kid calling back this show in 15 years. Because I know they are. Because this child is going to be calling back and saying, my mother and father fought, they put me second, they didn't love me, there was, my mom accidentally went to jail because she did this, because she tased in water? I'm like, I'm giving you real advice, girl, take it. If y'all in unhealthy relationships, just take this as a warning, just leave, okay? Just leave. leave. Do you love the Karamo Show? Yes! Well, we're back for season two. So make sure to subscribe to The Cromo Show.